Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So when you click on play on Steam to launch Midnight Suns game on your Windows computer and if nothing happens, so when you click on play, nothing happens, the game does not launch and it shows the play option once again. So if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First step is to skip 2K launcher. So for many users, skipping the 2K launcher has worked. So skip the 2K launcher to launch the game successfully. So for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and under general over here you can see launch option. Now if the game is installed in C drive, then you can copy this command, this location. The location is provided in the video description. Copy this, paste it over here. If the game is installed in C drive, you can use this location, paste it over here and then launch the game. It will skip the 2K launcher. Now if the game is installed in some other drive, if the game is installed in D drive, you can use this location. So make a right click over here, select properties. So over here. If the game is installed in another drive, then you simply change the name of the drive. So if the game is installed in D drive, so in my case, the game is installed in F drive. So if the game is installed in D drive, you can change the letter over here as D. If the game is installed in E drive, you can change the letter over here E. So just change the drive over here and then launch the game it will straight away launch the game so over here you can see it skipped the launcher and it is launching the game without the launcher so you can try this now if you don't want to use this method so in launch option, if you don't want to use any kind of commands over here, then you remove this. You, there is another method. You can go to the game installation folder, make a right click, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now use this exe file. Over here you can see midnightsuns.exe. Make a double click and launch the game from here. So over here you can see the game is launching without 2k launcher so i can see the game launching over here so you can see it's launching without the launcher so let me close this now now use only this exe file do not use exe file from this folder for me when i'm launching the game from here using this exe the game is launching without 2k launcher now if you open midnight suns and then open binaries win64 if you launch using this exe it will open 2k launcher and for me it's opening so over here you can see it's opening 2k launcher so when i'm using this location when i'm using this shipping exe it's opening the 2k launcher this is happening for me but if i'm launching the game using the using this exe file this one the game is launching without the 2k launcher so you can either launch uh, the game from game installation folder using this exe file or you can use this command if if the game is installed in c drive you can copy and paste it in the launch option over here if the game is installed in c drive you can use this command now if the game is installed in another drive maybe f drive or d drive or e drive simply change the name of the drive over here and copy everything and paste it in the launch option and then launch the game it will skip the 2k launcher but still you are unable to launch the game when you click on play still nothing happens in that case allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security then open windows settings now if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security you will have a privacy and security option on the left on the left hand side over here 
So click on privacy and security in Windows 11. In, for Windows 10 users, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, open program files x86, open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. In my case, it's in E drive. So open Steam library folder, Steam apps common, and then open the game folder. Select this exe file, now click on open. Now again click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Open Midnight Suns folder, Binaries folder, Win64. Select this exe file, now click on open. Again click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. This time go back and open 2k launcher folder. Select this exe and then click on open. Once everything is added, now launch the game. Still you're facing the problem then open control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security now go to windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings on the top top and then click on allow another app now click on browse now go to the game installation folder once again open steam library steam apps common now open the game folder Select this exe file, now click on open, now click on add. Now again click on allow another app, click on browse, open midnight suns folder, binaries folder, win64. Select this exe file, now click on open, again click on add. In my case this is already added. Once added, again click on browse and then go back. And then open 2k launcher, select this exe file, now click on open, click on add. In my case this is already added. Now once the game is added, now click on save on the bottom and then click on OK. Now launch the game. But still nothing happens when you hit play. In that case, run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now make a right click on the game and then click on run as administrator. Or you can make a right click over here, select properties, go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, click on OK and then launch the game from here. So make a double click over here and launch the game from here. You can even go to Midnight Suns folder, then open Binaries folder, Win64. Again, make a right click on the exe file, select properties, go to compatibility. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click over here and try launching the game from the game installation folder now still if nothing happens when you hit play in that case verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Go to NVIDIA website. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. Then click on start search. Now scroll down over here. You can see this is the latest GeForce game ready driver. So install this GeForce game ready driver. Right now the driver version is 526 period 98. This is the latest one right now. So whichever is latest, click on get download. And then again click on download now. Now let the download complete. Once the download is complete, run the exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next then again put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on next and let the installation complete 
Now, once the installation is complete, make sure that you restart your computer. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So, make a right click on the game, select properties. Now, go to the general tab and then over here type in dash DX11. Now, launch the game. Still, you are unable to launch, then type in dash DX12 and then launch the game. If nothing happens, still facing the problem remove everything and then follow the next step the next step is to open Aculus app so if you have Aculus app installed on your computer you can open Aculus app once the Aculus app is open now launch the game and check and still nothing happens still you're facing the problem in that case you can uninstall the game delete the game folder from the game installation folder Restart your computer, try installing the game to different drive. If so, if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps should help you to play the game successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.